out for fishing in a big way, and first we'll cast our bait for tarpon, those big fish that inhabit the rivers and bays of Mexico and Central America. They're big, all right, ranging on the average of over 150 pounds, but the records show that some have been caught weighing nearly 250 pounds. Here he comes, and there's still plenty of fight left in him. Well, we're not doing so badly. He's a whopper to put with the day's catch. And here they come ashore. A thousand pounds of victory for us. This is fishing by the wholesale, and it takes heavy nets to corral these monsters of the deep. Up they come on their way to the canning factory and maybe to your table. Not one in the catch weighs less than 600 pounds, and it's not a fish story to say that once a 1,500 pounder was captured. That's a lot of tuna. Into the safety pond they go. 10,000 pounds of tuna in a day's catch. We're off the east coast of Florida with a host of other boats out for those jumping, battling sailfish and marlin. The bait is a whole fish, for the sailfish are heavy eaters. It is dropped from a rod and reel or swung away from the boat from the outrigger. They are fighters too. Like lightning, they take the bait. Out of the water they jump, trying to throw the hook from their mouths. It's a sport for real fishermen with strong muscles and plenty of endurance. Boat number five is the first to have luck, and here is the prize. But the fight goes on, another line tightens, another battle between man and fish is on. It's summer off the Florida coast, and the warm waters of the Gulf Stream lure such monsters as these to the bait. Watch him pull and jump and tug. What a tough one that fisherman is battling. It actually took over an hour to land this one, but in this picture we'll bring him in in a minute. And he's a dandy. But what's the difference? They're big enough to go after with a different kind of bait. And here it is. There she blows. around the waters of the seven seas, but we're now in the South Pacific and having luck.
This one measured 72 feet and weighed 85 tons. While the crew is pulling him in, let's see what's happening on the port side. A thousand pound stranger, a sunfish, wondering what it's all about. But he's useless as food or for anything else. So we let him go after a warning. Further aft, we discover another stranger, evidently after our cat too, a hammerhead shark. And he comes aboard. Now for a whale of a thrill, out in a small boat for the big sea mammal. One swish of a whale's tail could break the small craft into splinters. But the men know their job, and on they come. It's dangerous work, whether you like it or not. enough for today. So while they are being towed back to shore, they are pumped full of air to make them float. One man in a rowboat is enough to tow the whale ashore. But it takes real power to drag him up. And that's the end of a big fish story. Here's bait for the biggest fish in any sea. But after all, we're out to bring in enough for dinner. And this time, it's salmon. No time for line and sinker here. These fellows want mass production, so great heavy nets do the job. These are all over 30 pounds, some as high as 50. It's a fisherman's paradise. In comes the silver horde. Hundreds of shiny thrashing salmon. So many that they nearly sink the boat. We've loaded three tons of salmon already. We went out for big fish, and we got them. 